You need to get by? Yeah. I want to bother you though. Just taking a little video. <laughs> They said I could. Oh, I'm not worried about that. <clears throat> yeah, when I was setting up my tank, I took pictures of a lot of tanks to see how I wanted to do it. Yeah. I take videos and pictures of my tank. I get like 40 to 80 views on my YouTube page. It's like a no-name YouTube page. Not oh, really? too bad, yeah. Somebody said I should get a power head for my rainbow fish and I'm like I don't think the angel fish and the barbs and tetras would be too happy about that no. angel fish they'll get messed up they're fine they can swim in front of the filter or whatever they seem fine in there I love this tank right here yeah. I've got rainbow fish rainbows are awesome fish what a really great display I like their personalities and the way they look. Mm -hmm. I've got two Bosmani, two Turquoise, an Emerald, and a Praycox, and a Millennium, and I'm going to get a yellow today. <laughs> yeah, you've got a good mix. Yeah. And I was thinking about getting that blue and red stripe one, but they're like $60, but he said they're cheaper if they're smaller. Should I just wait for some smaller ones to come in, or do or they about always cost that much? The Doriarty, or... Yeah. Goriardi, I forget we've what it's only, called. We've only had that one once or twice. Really? Yes, I think the only two we have over there now, unless we got some in, I don't know about are both females. So. Uh, um, yeah, there was are, one I was interested in, and it, an awesome, it turned awesome out, fish. it's similar to that one, but even more vivid color. It's called the Uchi Creek Rainbow Fish, but it uh -huh. turns out it's endangered. It's only in one little tiny province of Australia. You can't get those. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things like that that are almost completely extinct in the wild they, they breed them like they have to breed the rainbow fish they said rainbow fish are endangered in the wild yeah it doesn't these would have to be bred wouldn't they oh yeah but they you, do they breed them in just huge vast numbers they're not a the guy said that they need them. more genetic diversity some of them they only brought like five fish back or something at some points well, that's the problem with a lot of that stuff you're right the dwarf there's, they there's said the dwarf garamis are like are like purebred dogs are all inbred and all Cause I always get them and then they like die. There's something wrong with them, or I just don't get them anymore. Yeah. No, the it's hard to. There's places where you can get the, the uncommon, nicer varieties. Oh. However, you know. You're you gonna pay. You buy juveniles and they're expensive and they don't look like anything. You Until you get, you wait a year. Up, you don't even know what you got for. I picked out some pretty good ones. Something. But there are some really, really nice ones out there that are being kept and bred. Yeah, I'll 